Hey, this is Joey Logano, and you're watching the Checkered Flag Group. We're here with Joey Logano, driver of the number 22 Shell Pens Oil Ford for Team Penske. Team Penske, this is a pretty big year for them, 50 years in motorsports. What's it like to drive for such an iconic team? Uh, it's nice to uh, drive for Roger, obviously. Um, you know, you look at the list of drivers that have driven for him and won for him. Uh, it's an honor to be driving for his 50th year anniversary and hopefully he makes some big things happen. So outside the racetrack, I also, uh, every now and then, I'll, I'll turn the TV on and I'll see you as a guest analyst on NASCAR Race Hub. <laughs> what are some of the difficulties with live TV? Um, well, you can't screw up for one. <laughs> they don't they don't record and, and get another shot at it. But uh, I enjoy it. You know, it's fun to go on on Race Hub. It's a different uh, kind of a different thing for me. You know, obviously when you're driving a race car, you kind of get used to doing that all the time. But it's fun just to kind of break out and do something different. It keeps your uh, mind challenged in a lot of different ways. And it's fun to talk about racing. It's kind of easy for me as I get to talk about racing that I know a lot about. It seems like it, at least I hope I know a lot about. So <laughs> it's fun. So I also also see uh, you're up in the booth every now and then. Uh, how is that giving you a different perspective of the race and the racetrack? That's a good question. You know, it really has. Um, you know, you, you think about uh, the, the really the cool perspective is kind of what's going on behind the scenes on TV. Um, you know, the, the the team that they put together to make sure it's a good broadcast is way more than what you see on TV. You know, we may just see the analysts and 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 the, and the uh, pit reporters and stuff like that, but to put that all together takes a lot of, you know, the producer has to put it all together with the camera workers and all everything for it all to work. It's, it's pretty impressive, so they're constantly talking in your ear while you're trying to talk, and it gets pretty challenging. I also hear you're a big car collector. <laughs> what made you kind of start this passion? I just love cars, you know? I think it's just, uh, sometimes you're just born that way. You really like something. For me, it's, it's cars. Obviously, as a race car driver, being around them, it's, it's easy for me to like them, but... Uh, my old man was, uh, you know, into antique cars and stuff growing up, and um, I guess I kind of took that from him. How many cars would you say you have now? Probably too many. <laughs> too, too many, I'm sure. <laughs> where, do, where do you keep these these cars? I mean, you can't keep them at your house. I uh, know, I keep some of them there. I have a little shop that I okay. kind of have a little toy box there, keep some of them there. <laughs> what would you say is the coolest car you have? Coolest car is I just got a, a car called a water car. Really? Um, so it's an amphibious car. Okay. Uh, they make them out in California. Uh, so you can drive it in the water. It goes like 40 mile an hour in the water. It goes 60, 70 down the highways. It's crazy. That's it's different. That yeah. sounds pretty awesome, I must say. Um, outside the track, I also hear you're a big fan of giving back, and the Joey Logano Foundation is a great way of doing that. What interested you in, in giving back to the community? Well, you know, it's. Um, it's the right thing to do for one, you know, and it's pretty obvious to, to know that, you know, hey, I got, I'm pretty fortunate to get to drive a race car and it's an awesome living and I see what other people have to go through and I, and I don't really understand why God's given me all this, this, this opportunity when other people are going through challenges in their life. It makes you kind of look at it and say, well, why is this? But then when you kind of understand that, you know, you, God's given me these talents to, to help other people uh, and this is just a platform to uh, to reach out and, and touch people and uh, that's become the, the number one passion in my life uh, you know to be able to affect people's lives and that's a pretty cool thing to be able to have and I should take advantage of that. What are some of the events that you can do to help out at the Joey Logano Foundation? Well we have a charity golf tournament coming up okay. which is a whole fundraiser for uh, for a lot of things so we, we help uh, with second chances with people which is um, it's kind of similar to what went through in my career uh, I got a second chance to drive for Team Penske and I understand uh, the opportunity and how I approached a second chance completely different and I know a lot of people would that, do that as well so to, to help give someone a second shot in life uh, is what we, we shoot to do but um, there's always constant things going on uh, you go to joeyloganofoundation.com there's plenty of information on there. Now you said the golf tournament are you a good golfer first of all? Nope nope and, and most people that go there aren't so and, and we just plan to have fun we got one hole we call it the NASCAR hole it's the best one <laughs> It's how quick you can get it in. So as many strokes as you want, it's just how quick can you get the ball in the hole, and that's pretty fun. That's I, you got to win at that one, right? Oh, it's hilarious. You ought to see people running up and down the fairway. It's the funniest thing you've seen. <laughs> that's awesome. I definitely have to check that out. So to finish out, we're going to do a quick segment called the Horsepower Speed Round. We're going to fire off a bunch of questions. So you have to give us a first answer that comes to your mind. All right. All right, so first one, what was your first job? First job, uh, I drove a Zamboni at an ice rink. Really? Um, which is kind of a cool little job for, for when I was younger, but it was uh, it was fun. Yep. I bet the water car beats that though. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what you yeah. Have. <laughs> <laughs> um, Aside from necessities, what is one thing that you cannot go without for a day? Probably my phone. Um, I feel like you can leave your wallet at home, but you can't leave your phone at home sometimes. It's kind of weird, and, and I wish I could leave my phone away, but I always want to be in constant contact with people and, and make sure yeah. things are going on uh, and everything, so I, I guess probably that. Okay. Um, if you can only listen to one song, what would it be and why? Man, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to answer that question. I, I like a lot of songs, I like a lot of different music. Um, there's not a certain type of music in particular that I like, so... Do you have a favorite song? How about that? I really don't. No. No. I like. I, if I literally, if you looked at my iPod, it's just like the most random stuff you've ever seen. Really? And it's just, it's just it. Interesting. All right. And final one. If you were to make dinner for me, what would you prepare? I make chicken parm. Chicken parm. Yeah, you can't go wrong with chicken oh. parm. I mean, it's like the best meal ever. Oh yeah. All right. Super healthy. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Joey, for taking the time. For more videos from the Checkered Flag Crew, make sure to visit all of our social media and check out checkeredflagcrew.com.